Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 59, planet 26. Well, this is an important day. Uh, the base is pretty much completed. And so that's going to be bringing season two to, to a close here. And we'll uh, kind of cover all of that as we're going through. So in the last episode, I was working down here in the security area and I have managed to finish it all off. So let's start over here. I've got the uh, control areas in. And as you can see, I've got cameras set up throughout the base. So if we hop in over here and we look down, you can see that I've got the different cameras identified on the monitor here on the control seat. So if we go to button one, we are looking at the refinery area. If we go to number two, we are looking out over the complex where we've got the security and the medical, uh, the entertainment and whatnot, the living quarters. Number three, is inside the food court so that's uh, we can kind of take a look and see what we've got going on here in the food court number four is up in the entertainment area where we've got the movie screen and the staff can come up here and relax and play a little bit of pool and whatnot that was number four Number five is the assembly area where we can kind of see where we're at here, uh, see if anything's going on here. Number six is looking out over the pipeline, looking off in that direction, and we can kind of see in and around this area. Now, this is a wide angle camera, so it kind of distorts everything a little bit. Uh, number seven is looking out over the drone bay again another wide angle so this is the drone bay number eight is looking out from the control tower the landing pad control tower where we can see our power source and so we've done pretty good with the power we'll talk about that in a little bit and then number nine is looking out towards the salvage area and where we have the cobalt mine. And then if we look down, we can kind of see our salvage ship uh, with the uh, grinders on it. And we can kind of look around here and see that. So that is these nine cameras. Now we have a couple of more. So let me get back out of here. And then we'll go over to this control seat, which has the last two, and it has the ability to put more cameras in. So we've got the landing pad and the drone printer up over here. So let's take a look out over here. This is looking out over the landing pad for the ships to come in to pick up cargo and whatnot. And then number two camera, or in this essence would be number 11 is the drone printer room and if we kind of look down we can see the printer and everything right here so we can see what's going on that is that is the security area where i wanted to put in basically where somebody can come in and, and, and monitor the base, right? You can kind of look at all the uh, camera angles and make sure everything's going like it's supposed to. Now, I've got some uh, just random information coming up on this screen right here. Uh, this is kind of an ATC tower where it kind of shows what's being cleared for ships and stuff like that coming in. It's just a uh, random generator. So that's this room. Uh, this room is all finished up here. This is sort of an administrative room 
for the security. Uh, you've got kind of a waiting area in case somebody's coming down here to uh, with clearance to visit. Uh, we got the uh, bathroom facilities all in right here. And then we've got a storage, uh, a secure storage area. So if we go in here, we can see all of this. And then this was uh, living quarters for the security forces. So this is their armory, all of their weapons and whatnot, if they should need it. Uh, there's some bunks down here for them to sleep in and they've got a little bit of a kitchen. They need a shower. They can uh, go over to the uh, inner, uh, actually the living quarters and use their shower facility over there. So that's the security downstairs. So let's go up to the administrative area. And this is kind of a control area. This is inventory management. We've got the inventory all set up over here. And I'm not sure why this one isn't showing any inventory. Uh, this is the cargo container ores. That should be completely full, but I don't know. Uh, then we've got, uh, oh, I know why. I actually do know why. The refinery is probably caught up with the ore that is coming in, and so they're completely processed, and so there's not showing any inventory. So anyway, we've this is uh, inventory area. Oh, you know what? There was one more thing I forgot to go through downstairs. Let's get down there. Kind of a neat area. I forgot to show the uh, holding area. So this is section is if we get some rabble rousers, somebody that uh, needs to be detained for some ever reason, we've got three holding cells down here, which gives them all of the facilities that they need, just basic stuff, because they are, they're in a holding cell. And you can see we've got uh, Joe Blow, Fred Frenchstone, and Barney Rubble. They're all a bunch of rabble rousers. So they're basically just down here sleeping it off. Uh, they had a little too much to drink. And so we've kind of got an area down here. And so you got an administrator that sits in here. And you've got a control guard that would sit here and be able to monitor anybody that's in down here. So now we are complete down here. And we did see the uh, bathroom facilities. Okay, now let's get back upstairs and finish up here. Of course, this is the reception area as you're coming in to either go down to security or coming up into inventory. Again, we've got administrative areas here. Uh, this is a boardroom or conference room and it's all set up so that uh, they can do presentations and whatnot in here. We've got a uh, server area over here. And so this is all server rooms. All of these are, not all of them are completely built. Or maybe I did build them all. I guess I did, they're all 100%. Oh no, these back here are not. Uh, so, some of these are usable, some of them are still in the process, but this is the main server room that controls the whole base for the computer system. And then again, this is the administrative area. You've got to have somebody that does the paperwork. All right, that is the security and control area. So let's go look at the living quarters again kind of do a walk through over here again you can kind of see the pipelines going out I've got a couple of those that one over there in the distance goes out to the iron mine and then this here is a stone mine that was uh, uh, mining to get some of those resources that uh, we don't have set up for direct input all right so here is the living quarters this is sort of a relaxing area where you can come down. They've got, uh, looks like they've got Pulp Fiction on the uh, uh, TV right here. 
And what do we got over here? Oh, you know what? This is uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. There's Dave dealing with Hal. And so it's got a little bit of an aquarium. You got a bookshelf and a coffee maker and stuff right here. Over, you've got a, actually you've got a little, just a little uh, refrigerator and breakfast or, you know, just something to make a quick snack area. And we've got uh, our recharge station right here. And let's go upstairs. Okay, upstairs is the sleeping quarters. This here is the bathroom facilities and shower facilities. So you got bathrooms with doors that uh, close. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, let's do this again. There we go. Ah. Uh, so you got doors that close and open so you have privacy uh and then down here we've got the wash sinks you've got lockers uh showers don't have a shower with the door on it so probably would be good if we had a mod with a shower door uh anyway so that's the bathroom and shower facilities uh better close that up Again, a few more lockers, uh, just places to sit, relax a little bit up here. Uh, these are the bedrooms. Uh, these are main bedrooms here. Like this is for a uh, supervisor or manager. And then these are just kind of bunks for workers. You've got uh, several of those in here. So this is the living quarters. Now, let's uh, head over here. Next up is the entertainment and food court area. Oh, this is a food court area. They can uh, get different meals. Uh, right now, they've got burgers and looks like pitas on the menu, uh, but those can change. Uh, you've got... Uh, uh, let's see, storage and stuff behind there. Another recharging station, a uh, beverage area, uh, beverage dispenser, and then places to sit and eat. You've got uh, TVs. They happen to have uh, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck on over here, uh, but a place to kind of sit and watch TV. And then this looks like Lawrence of Arabia. So. Uh, that's this area right here. Now let's go upstairs and see the actual entertainment area, which we have alien on the big screen. There's, uh, uh, Ripley looks like she's having a bad day. And then we've got, uh, so you've got, uh, kind of a movie theater depending, you know, places for people to sit and watch the movie relax got pool tables uh, ping pong table and then uh, dispensing machines beverage machines and then you've got some uh, video games over here Pac-Man, Space Invaders Mortal Kombat, some of the classics okay so that's the entertainment area and we're uh, heading out over here just as the sun's coming up, so that's pretty good timing. We do have the medical facility here. And so this is set up, so if there's any accidents or whatnot, uh, you have a doctor area here where they can kind of interview the patients. This is lab work, and the patients can be scanned and make sure everything's good or find out what's ailing them. And then if, let's get out of here. Then if they need a little bit of, uh, if they're going to have to stay and be monitored, we've got a, a area for them to uh, spend the night. 
Again, this is uh, just basic uh, medical stuff. Uh, if they really need some emergency, it's to kind of get them taken care of, then they're shipped off planet. Okay, so that is the food core, the, the, well, that's security, living quarters, food court, medical. Uh, now, let's uh, head over to the drone facility. So we've got uh, the drone facility in. This is a long time ago. Uh, there's the pipeline going out to the iron mine. Uh, we put this in. This is a drone printer. So it will print off drones and then they can be dispersed out from here. Uh, pretty nice facility. We printed off, we did print off a couple of drones. And so we've got uh, these drones were set up for, uh, you can send them off and they will uh, uh, automatically go grab uh, materials at the different mines and come back. And so that's basically just a drone. And it did work pretty good. It took a bit to get it all set up. But this is the drone facility over here in the drone docking bay. Uh, we can uh, get up access to the roof up here where we've got the antennas and we can look out over the base a little bit, do some work. I probably should have put railings and stuff in uh, up here, but uh, just needed to be safe. And then we're looking out over our power facility. So let's uh, see if we can just kind of hop down through here. Uh, there we go. Uh, so this is our power facility. We have several uh, batteries in place here, and they were able to store enough uh, power. And I never had an issue with power here on the base. We always were able to have generate enough power, so when things weren't processing, they were storing in the batteries, and then so we always had the batteries for backup and be able to pull in for power for the base. So that worked pretty well. And then this is a little bit of a docking station. Uh, this is the original uh, drop pod. I turned it into a little slight rover to find where they had marked out for the big uh, rover that we have here. Uh, but I had to make my way over. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 50 or 60 kilometers away is where we dropped. So we had to make our way over here to where this base was going to be put in. Uh, so that is the drone facility power. So now let's get over to our refinery area. The refinery area, we have two refineries in. So this is a storage bin, cargo container for the raw ores that are coming in. So if we look at this, so the ores are coming in and this is where the ore is stored. And then that's pulled into the refineries right here which is then processed and the ingots go and are stored in this uh, cargo container here now nothing can get pushed back through so the only thing that is getting stored in here is ingots the way we have this set up uh, with the conveyor system we also have a sifter which will process the excess gravel that comes out and salvage any trace materials such as gold and uranium and stuff like that. So, the, and then that pushes it back through to the refineries and then they get processed and then that goes on into the ores. And then from here, we have our assembler area. This is where all the parts are made from the materials, from the ores. And again, this is one way uh, there's one of the cameras that I've got set up in here. So the again, everything is all one way. Uh, the ores and ingots, the ores can only get uh, come in through to the refineries. And then the refineries can only push the processed ingots into there. And then the assemblers can only push in or pull in the ingots. They can't push 
parts back out. So this is all streamed into here. Uh, so the processors or the assemblers pull the necessary materials in and they come in and then any of the process parts are stored in this cargo container, which is also where the salvage ship that comes in when it's out salvaging, it will deposit the parts and stuff that it salvages into that cargo bin to make them available. And then this is our salvage ship. It's got a couple of grinders on it. Uh, you can see on the distance we've put uh, base defenses in. We've got a base defense there. Uh, there's one there and then there's one back over there that you can see off in the distance. I left a couple of more. The maintenance crew, the permanent maintenance crew that's going to come into this base, we'll finish, finish that stuff off. Uh, let's see here. So that's uh, assembler salvage. Okay, so we've got the control room and the landing pad. And we actually have a working elevator. So let's come over here and let's go up to... Well, we'll go all the way up to the control tower first. And all the way up. And here we are inside the control tower. And this is where this control tower monitors any air traffic coming in. So they would uh, direct on which bay to go into and that sort of thing. So this turned out pretty well. I was pretty happy with this. They've got their own little server uh, dedicated here for them. And so you can see that uh, you look out, you've got a see any of the aircraft that's flying out and about on all directions here. So that was kind of the idea behind the control tower. And so let's go down to the landing pad. Down one floor. Here we go. Now we got three bays in. Uh, this, uh, this bay here can pull in from the parts so if you've got a ship coming in to pick up salvaged parts they can land right here uh, this bay is set up for ingots so you're going to pull in the ingots from right here into hauling it out and then this is for any raw ore that you're going to haul off so that's the base I think it's all turned out pretty well and so I think the, uh, oh, we also have spotlights on here. You can see that they're uh, set up and on here for each of the docking areas. And then you have a couple of waiting areas and uh, control areas right here. So uh, if you're waiting for your uh, ship to come in or your ride to take you off planet, this is where you sit, which is our next stop. So let's go ahead and get in here. And so we're just going to hang out here because this concludes season two. This has the base completed. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way everything turned out. And so starting to work on the next assignment. And I've already put in a bid on the Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company has a bid for an asteroid base or moon they haven't decided exactly where they want to put it and then uh, they've got some uh, derelict ships that uh, need to be salvaged along with uh, a crash ship supposedly so that's uh, something that uh, uh, I am working on trying to get the bid for that and then uh, that will be my season three which will start up in the fall because as I have mentioned in uh, my uh, channel news update it's time for summer vacation for the commander I will be making my annual trek to Alaska and uh, I'll be up there for the summer and then season three will kick off in mid September uh, once we get that rolling and once I get that bid in so that pretty much wraps up planet 26 
I had fun uh, doing it. It was all kind of, everything was built. Uh, the planet itself was a mod. Everything was pretty much a mod in this uh, as far as getting things set up. So, so it was quite the challenge and learned quite a bit uh, doing this uh, base build. Well, that's going to wrap things up here. All you uh, space engineers out there, if uh, you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really will help out the video. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. And ring that bell. It will let you know when I'm uploading new videos, and I am doing that on a regular basis. I might add one more thing. I do have summer programs that are going to be going that I've already got pre-recorded and are going to be released throughout the summer. Unfortunately, none of them involve space engineers. So, uh, but again, that'll all pick up in September. Okay. All you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.